today in Louisville, Kentucky, the funeral of Al Marhoum, the hero, the legend Muhammad Ali will be held. I would like to offer our salutation to this great man, to this legendary champion of civil rights and human rights, to this great servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Muhammad Ali. Those who know Muhammad Ali, they tell you that yet he was a powerful, physically powerful, prominent, popular man, a big celebrity, but he was a very humble person. He was a God-fearing man who believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his ultimate goal was to pass the ultimate test and the ultimate test is the divine test not the test in the ring boxing ring that was his ultimate objective to be seen by Allah as a good servant of his to make it to paradise and to be considered of those who serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely so Muhammad Ali at age 74 departed but he left a huge legacy for all freedom fighter and freedom loving people and particularly for the Muslim community we Muslims are so proud of Muhammad Ali indeed Muhammad Ali brought the name of Islam so high in this country that many people got to know Islam through this huge legendary man and Muhammad Ali by the way was a proud Muslim he never shied away he never shied away from making sure to identify himself as a Muslim and as a humble Muslim he always educated non-Muslims especially those arrogant bigots he educated them about Islam about the true essence of Islam he rebuked those who were so bigot and were so demeaning toward, toward the Muslim community by asking them to read and study this great faith and not to stereotype it. And that's why we are so proud of it, so proud of him. Muhammad Ali left a great legacy for us, my dear brothers and sisters. Right after 9-11, Attacks. Muhammad Ali visit the, visited the site, the attack site in New York. As he was visiting the site, a journalist, a reporter approached him and asked him this question. Ask the legendary Muhammad Ali, he said to him, Muhammad Ali, how do you feel about those terrorists joining your faith? trying to trying to point out to Islam as a religion that supports violence he asked Muhammad Ali provocatively Muhammad Ali how do you feel about those terrorists joining your faith and Muhammad Ali without shying away from answering and without hesitation he answered him immediately he says how about how do you feel about Hitler joining your faith? The reporter happened to be Catholic. To many people, you may not know that Hitler, the man who stands behind the Holocaust, the man who stands behind the annihilation of over six million Jews, he was, he was, he was Catholic, he was not Muslim. Hitler was Catholic. Should I hold Catholics responsible for his crimes? Should I hold the Catholic Church responsible for atrocities committed by a Catholic person like Hitler? Should I hold the Pope responsible? That's not fair. Hitler is responsible for his own crimes. His religion should not be held responsible 
for crimes committed by him. So why when it comes to Islam, we hold our great faith, a faith that is followed by 1.5 billion Muslims around the world, responsible for acts of a few? Those terrorists do not represent our faith. Indeed, they have killed more Muslims. They have infl inflicted more harm to Muslims themselves than non-Muslims. Muhammad Ali was a great spokesperson for Islam. Muhammad Ali was a great ambassador of Islam. Sayyidina Tfadaluhun. He was a great ambassador of Islam to non-Muslims. And thus, my dear brothers and sisters, Muhammad Ali inspires us all to be also ambassadors of our faith to non-Muslims, not through preaching and talking, rather through leading by example and exhibiting the best quality of Islam so people can be attracted to this religion, not through our rhetoric, rather through our deed, good deeds and good actions. I ask you, my dear brothers and sisters, that we all recite Surah Al-Mubarakat Al-Fatiha on the soul of the legendary Muhammad Ali, rahmatullahi alayhi.